Hello and welcome to the QA Underground. In today's video we will continue our tutorial series on OpenAI's GPT-3 tool. Today's video will cover creating a headline generator and an idea generator. The headline generator will utilize the same setup that we use for the Selenium test script generation. The idea generator will utilize a setup that does not require an example to be added to the GTP. We will first go over a brief overview of our previous tutorial. As this tutorial will be under the assumption that you have followed the previous tutorial, linked below. In our previous tutorial, we added a GPT module and then added a sentence to Selenium conversion script, which allowed us to add examples to GPT, send a prompt, and get an output. As you can see, to do so, we needed to create an instance of our GPT, create an example, and finally create our prompts that will be sent to GPT. We then sent it to a generate file module that would then generate the test scripts from the output. Now let's say we want to use that same setup to create something else. In this case, a headline generator. Only this time we'll use different examples. This will allow you to see how the examples can greatly change the output. The first thing we want to do is create our headline generation file that we will be working out of. Once that's created, we can now add our imports. Now we need to add our API key. Once we've done that, we can create our instance of GPT. We will set our engine, our temperature, and our max tokens. The next step is to add our example. Again, the example, we pass the prompt and then the expected response from the API. I'll add a few additional examples for good measure. With our examples completed, we can now create our prompt. Our prompt is what we will be sending to GPT-3. I will try to keep the same or similar format as the prompts that I gave for the example. We can now set up our output parameter. Our output parameter is basically what's sending the request to GPT-3. And finally, we will print out our output to the council. So let's run the file and see what the output results are. As you can see, it outputs results that are related to the prompt given. In this case, the output returns a headline similar to the examples given. In the next piece of the tutorial, we will create an idea generator. The setup for this one will differ from the headline generator as we will not need to send any examples to GPT-3. and will allow the GPT-3 API to auto-generate ideas based off the context given in the prompt. The first thing we need to do is create our idea generator.py file that we will be working out of. We will then add our imports, add the API key, and create an instance of GPT as we did in the previous section. However, this time we will not need to generate any examples. Okay. 
This time when we create our prompt, we will structure our prompt by putting the context at the beginning of the prompt, followed by an example that includes the title and a brief summary. Next, we will set up our output as we did before. However, as we are expecting a list of outputs to be returned, this time we will put it through a for in loop and print out the output from each response. Finally, we can run our file and review the generated ideas from the output. In today's video, we covered how to create a headline and an idea generator. The headline generator utilized the same setup that we used to generate test scripts in the previous tutorial, and the idea generator utilized a setup that didn't require adding examples to GPT-3. If you enjoy these GPT-3 tutorials, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel as we will continue creating new GPT-3 tutorials in the future, as well as videos on other testing-related topics. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.